Lecture come demonstration method is one of the traditional method and this is also known as chalk and talk method. This is the teacher centered method. In this method, teacher is active and learners are passive. The essential qualities in learning science and mathematics such as independent thinking, power of observation and reasoning can be developed in this method. The teacher performs the experiment in the class and goes on explain what he does. Here the students see the actual apparatus and operation and help the teacher in demonstrating the experiment. This method works on the principles of concrete to abstract and learning by doing. To define, it is a physical display of the form, outline or a substance of object or events for the purpose of increasing knowledge of such objects or events. Demonstration involves showing what or showing how. Demonstration is a relatively uncomplicated process in that it does not require extensive verbal elaboration. To begin with, this method includes the merits of lecture and demonstration method. The teacher performs the experiment in the class and goes on explaining what she does. It takes into account the active participation of the student and is thus not a loop-sided process like the lecture method. The students see the actual apparatus and operations and help the teacher in demonstrating experiments and thereby they feel interested in learning. So also this method follows maxims from concrete to abstract wherein the student observe the demonstration critically and try to draw inferences. Thus, with the help of lecture come demonstration method, their power of observation and reasoning are also exercised. So, the important principle on which this method works is truth is that works. A good demonstration should be planned and rehearsed by the teacher beforehand. The apparatus used for demonstration should be big enough to be seen by the whole class. If the class may be disciplined, she may allow them to sit on the benches to enable them a better view. Adequate lighting arrangement be made on demonstration table and a proper background table need to be provided. All the pieces of apparatus are placed in order before starting the demonstration. The apparatus likely to be used should be placed in the left hand side of the table and it should be arranged in the same order in which it is likely to be used. Before actual starting the demonstration, a clear statement about the purpose of the demonstration be made to the students. The teacher makes sure that the demonstration lecture method leads to active participation of the student in the process of teaching. The demonstration should be quick and stick and should not appear to linger on unnecessarily. The demonstration should be interesting so that it captures the attention of the students. It would be better if the teacher demonstrate with materials or things the children handle in everyday life. For active participation of students, the teacher may call individual student in turn to help him in demonstration. The blackboard can also be used for drawing the necessary diagrams. These are some of the requirements of good demonstrations. Steps needed to conduct a lecture come demonstration lesson. The first step is planning and preparation. While planning a demonstration, the following points should be kept in mind. That is the subject matter, lesson planning, rehearsal of experiment, collection and arrangement of apparatus. To achieve the above stated objective, the teacher should thoroughly go through the pages of the textbook relevant to the lesson. After this, he should prepare his lesson plan in which he should essentially include the principles to be explained, a lot of experiments to be demonstrated and type of questions to be asked from the students. These questions are arranged in a systematic order to be followed in the class. Before actually demonstrating the experiment to a class, the experiment be rehearsed under the condition prevailing in the classroom. In spite of this, something may go wrong at the actual lesson, so reverse apparatus is often useful. The apparatus has to be arranged in a systematic manner on the demonstration table. 
Thus, for the success of demonstration method, a teacher has to prepare himself as thoroughly as possible. The second step is introduction of lesson. The lesson may be introduced on the following basis that is, student's personal experience, student's environment, telling story, a simple and interesting experiment. It is always considered more useful to introduce the lesson in a problematic way which would make the student realize the importance of the topic. The usual way through which the teacher can introduce the lesson is by telling some personal experience or incident of a simple and interesting experiment. A good experiment carefully demonstrated in a likely to leave an everlasting impression on the mind of the young pupils and would set the students talking about it in the school. The third step is presentation of the subject matter. The teacher must study the subject matter considering the interest and experience of the student. The teacher should try to illustrate the facts and principles. Language used by the teacher should be simple and clear. While demonstration is going on, questions should be asked which help the students to understand the principles. Questions and cross question are essential for properly illuminating the principles discussed. Questions should be arranged in such a way that their answers may form a complete teaching unit. The fourth step is performance of experiment. A good observer has been described as a person who has learned the use of sense of touch, sight and smell in an intelligent way. Through this method, we want children to observe what happens in an experiment and to state it carefully. We also want them to make generalization without violating scientific spirit. That is, we should allow children from one experiment or observation. The following steps are generally accepted as valuable in conducting mathematics and science experiment generally. Write the problem to be solved in a simple words. To make a list of activities that has to be used to solve the problem. Gather material for conducting the experiment. Work out a format of steps in the order of procedure so everyone knows what is to be done. Teachers should try to experiment before conduction. Record the findings. Assist students to make generalization. The fifth step is blackboard summary. A summary of important results and principles should be written in the blackboard. Use of blackboard should also be frequently used to draw sketches and diagrams. The entire procedure should be displayed to the students after the demonstration. The final step is supervision. Students are asked to take the complete notes of the blackboard summary including the sketches and diagrams drawn. Such a record will be quite helpful to the student while learning his lessons. Such a summary will provide beneficial only if it has been copied correctly from the blackboards and to make sure that it is done so the teacher must check it frequently during this stage. Some common errors committed while delivering a demonstration lessons are apparatus may not be ready for use, there may not be an apparent relation between the demonstration experiment and the topic under discussion. Blackboard summary not up to the mark, teachers may be in a hurry to arrive at a generalization without allowing students to arrive at a generalization from facts. Teachers may not have allowed sufficient time for recording of data. Teacher may fail to ask the right type of questions. Now merits of lecture come demonstration method. It is an economical method as compared to a purely student centered method. It is a psychological method and students take active interest in the teaching learning process. It leads the students from concrete to abstract situations. It is suitable method if the apparatus to be handled is costly and sensitive. Such apparatus is likely to be handled and damaged by the students. This method is safe if the experiment is dangerous. In comparison of heuristic project method, it is time saving but purely lecture method is too lengthy. It can be successfully used for all types of students. 
it improves the observational and reasoning skills of the students some limitations of lecture come demonstration method it provides no scope for learning by doing for the students as students are only observing the teacher performing since teacher performs the experiment at his or her own pace many student may not be able to comprehend the concept being clarified since this method is not child centered it makes no provision for individual differences all types of students including slow learners and genius have to proceed with the same speed it fails to develop laboratory skills in the students it fails to impart training in scientific attitude in this method students fails to observe many finer details of the apparatus used because they observe it from a distance but above all we can say that this method can be proved to be one of the best method for teaching mathematics to high and higher secondary classes the teacher should encourage the students to demonstrate the experiments to the class now try